Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to create material design progress bars which is called progress indicators. I will explain about indeterminate linear and circular progress indicators and also determinate linear and circular progress indicators. While using Amazon app, you would have seen a progress indicator while searching for the items. This is an indeterminate progress indicator. And also, when you try to install an app from Play Store, you can see the circular progress indicator. Initially, it is indeterminate. And when it started downloading, the app, it changes to determinate progress indicator. So, let me show you how to create these types of progress bars in your Android application in a very simple way. In Android Studio, I created a simple Android app project. Here I have progress indicator Java class and a layout file called materialprogress.xml. These two are the main files that we are going to change to create progress indicators. Now when I run the app, it shows empty screen apparently. So let's start creating the progress indicators. But before you use the material progress indicators, you need to add a dependency to the material components for Android library. So for that, go to Gradle scripts, open modules build.gradle build file and in dependencies, add material library. Or go to project structure, dependencies, select the app module and click on plus icon and search for material library. From search results, select the stable library version, don't select um, alpha and beta versions and click OK. This gets added to your build.gradle file. So once this is done, close the build.gradle file and I am opening uh, XML file, changing it to code mode from design mode. Now add linear progress indicator. Uh, create a tag, uh, search for com.google.com. Here you can see linear progress indicator, select that and uh, set the width and height. Same way, uh, add uh, circular progress indicator also. Now change it to design mode and clear the um, uh, errors for the indicators related to the constraints. So I am setting it for linear progress indicator and the same way uh, take the circular progress indicator and um, fix the constraints for circular progress indicator. Now both are done. Now run the app. Here you cannot see the circular progress indicator because by default indicators are determinate and the track color is set to white for circular progress indicator. So don't worry about that. First set the IDs for linear progress and circular progress indicators. IDs are changed. Now change these indicators to indeterminate progress indicators. So here you can find a attribute called indeterminate true or false I have set it to true by default it was false run the app yes you can see both the progress indicators running these are indeterminate progress indicators here the constant line what you see is called track and the progress line is called indicator so you can make these progress indicators colorful by changing these track and indicator attributes for linear progress indicator let's change the track color Track color I have selected orange and indicator color I have selected as red. Now run the app. See the linear progress indicator colors are changed. Same way change the track and indicator colors for circular progress indicator also. Select track color as blue and indicator color as red. Now run the app. See the colors are changed for circular progress indicator also. Okay, now let's play with linear progress indicator. So select LPI and change the track thickness. It is 4 dp previously. Now I changed to 10 dp. And the margin set it as 10 dp. 
Now run the app. Yes, the track thickness is changed, but it is looking rectangle, right? So let's apply rounded corners. For that, uh, update track corner radius attribute. I have set radius 10 dp. Now run the app. See the corners are changed to rounded corners. Now the same way will update for uh, circular progress indicator also. I have updated the track thickness to 10 dp. And indicator size change from 40 dp to 100 dp. So the size of circular progress indicator changed. Now run the app. You can see the circular progress indicator size has increased. So by changing the track thickness attribute and indicator size attribute, you can display different types and different sizes of circular progress indicators. Now let's apply rounded corners for circular indicator. So I change track corner radius to 10 dp. Now uh, it is displaying with rounded corners. Now let's see how to change the circular indicator to look like this. For that first drag an image view into the layout. I have selected a cart icon for example and aligning at the center of the circular progress bar. Set the image view constraints to align it with progress indicator. Now change the color of this icon, uh, changing the tint color to blue. So change the color, now run the app. See uh, it is aligned in the middle of the circular progress indicator. But here we have to show only the indicator, not the track. So I am changing the track color to white. Because the background is white. So when I run the app, see it is almost looking like that and uh, track thickness I let me change to 5 dp so it will look more thin the indicator so this is how you can play with uh, attributes of uh, uh, linear progress indicator and circular progress indicator to display different kinds of progress bars these are indeterminate progress indicators now we will see how to display determinate progress indicator for this here you can uh, uh, change the indeterminate flag to false or else you can change the, um, uh, the same flag in the code also. Now I will show you how to implement determinate progress indicators from the code. So um, first I am initializing the linear progress indicator and circular progress indicator. Find view by id lpi and uh, cpi equal to r dot id dot cpi. Now uh, I will set the indicators as determinate that means set indeterminate is false for both the indicators. Now run the app it displayed determinate progress bars but there is no indicator displayed. The determinate progress indicators are displayed by setting the progress value means when you are downloading some data from server or uh, reading data from database if you know the percentage of data that has been downloaded or read you can set that value of progress to the indicator but for now i will write a method with the timer task to update the progress indicator with the progress value i have created a set progress method in this i will uh, implement the timer first take the timer and uh, implement the timer task new timer task schedule the timer with the task with the delay one second and the period interval one second now in this timer task for every one second we have to increase the progress value by 10 percent so i am increasing the i am taking the progress in teacher value and adding plus 10 and setting this progress value to the linear progress indicator same way for the circular progress indicator also so once the uh, the progress has reached um, 100 percent I am cancelling the timer. 
This is just a sample method to show you how to set progress value for determinate progress indicators. Now run the app. See every one second the progress indicator is updated by 10%. Now let's add the text view to display the percentage value. So taking the text view and aligning it by removing the constraints. Now change the text to loading and increase the size also from 14 SP to 22 SP. Now change the text color to red. So text color attribute I am changing it to red. Now run the app. It displays loading. But I wanted to display uh, the text with the percentage of uh, uh, progress. So first uh, give the ID for the text view. I have changed it to TV. And take the text view. Initialize it here. Text view equal to find view by ID TV. Now set the text view text with the progress value. Here text view dot set text. I am changing the loading text to downloading here with the progress value. Now run the app. Some runtime error is there, so application got closed. So I'm checking in the log cat. It says only the original thread that created a view hierarchy can touch its views. That means we should not set the text inside the timer because text view is related to the UI thread. So we have to create a handler to handle the UI related views. So here I am creating a handler, new handler and uh, in the timer task mhandler.post new runnable. So this will be done in the new thread. So I am moving the text view dot set text method inside the handler run method. Okay, now run the app. Okay, now it displaying downloading and the progress value also. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100. So, this way you can implement indeterminate and determinate progress indicators in your app. Hope you like the video and you understood how to implement the progress indicators very easily. Please subscribe to our channel for more development videos.